see uh, Caleb Parley uh, get back out there and start working, and then what, what have you seen from, from him just in some of these? Yeah, it's good. You know, he's out there uh, working his way back. Um, you know, he's got this off season. He was here training, so I know he was putting that work, and you can see, you can tell by his body, and then just the way he's moving. <clears throat> he still has, you know, the brace on. He doesn't really like it, uncomfortable, but he's still improving and getting better every day. What's the next step for this defense to take after the dramatic improvement from 2020 to 2021? Just keep building on it. I um, mean, you know, like it's a different year, so we got different guys. So we got to make sure that everyone who's going to be on the field knows what our style is, know how we're going to play defense, and how we want to communicate and execute it. For the most part, though. The starting group or the core group stayed together this offseason. How much does that help you as compared to last year when there was so much change? Yeah, you know, that's good. I mean, it's good to see guys that, you know, you battled with all last year come back. Um, you know, you've seen things that happened in games that, you know, we don't have to relearn it. You know, we already seen things, we communicated, and it's just good to see guys in front, behind, and next to you that, you know, familiar faces. Have you been in the league for a couple of years? What do you do during the offseason? What are you working on to try to get ready for the next season? Um, a lot of just uh, self-reflection, um, self-critiquing on my last year's play, and then um, a lot of injury prevention stuff. You know, um, last year we had a lot of guys go down. I went down early in the year, so just kind of working on my body, making sure that I'm staying healthy throughout the year and throughout this off-season training camp. What can you do for that? Say it again. Um, you know, work on instead of you know squatting and the big muscles, working on the small muscles in your knees, your ankles, your feet, you know, your hands, just your shoulders, all type of just the joint muscles and ligaments. OTAs are, are certainly voluntary. Everybody has their choice. What what made you decide that, that you wanted to be out here for, for this? Uh, for me, you know, it's just, I don't know. I just, I just, it's kind of what I do. You know what I mean? I want to be with the guys. Um, I don't want to feel like when I come in, I'm behind. Um, if I can be ahead of everybody, as in my mind personally, then I, if I feel more confident going into camp, and I just feel more confident in myself. And also, it just helps me improve and work on stuff that I need to work on. Amani, when, when KB talked <clears throat> to us um, earlier this off season, he was saying it, he, his goal is kind of to be more of a mentor to the younger guys in the DB room. For you, what are you hoping to accomplish in, in 2022? Um, hopefully the same thing. You know, hopefully guys look at me as a leader in this room. Um, you know, I try to do my best to teach what I teach what I know to the younger guys or what I've learned when I was a younger guy, and hopefully they can pick up on it earlier than I did. Um, but for me, it's just you know the best I can to lead by example and just you know go out there and just show what I can do, and then hopefully they follow along. Been through this high school, college, in the league. I mean, what's it, what's it like when you kind of build toward a new season, especially during OTAs? Where a lot of guys are different. You hardly know some mm -hmm. of them, and it's a different team than last year. Um, you just got to find a way to improve. You know, not just yourself, but how can you bring other guys along with you? Um, you know, it's easy just to be like, all right, I'm gonna do this. You know, I want to have these personal goals, but you know, if can you get your personal goals and help and bring someone else along with you?